Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. If you are new or returning, welcome to the channel. I just said that over and over again. Scratch all of that. Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you are new or returning, I really appreciate you for returning. No. Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. So if you are new or returning, Thank you so much for being here with us today. Um, and I always say us, and it's always just me here. Thank you for being with me here today on this channel. Um, if you have not subscribed to the channel, take a few moments right now and go ahead and like the video. Then subscribe, turn on your notifications so you'll know when I upload a video. And share the video out if you can. Leave me some comments down below and let's get to it. So, um... I'm out here at a super, super Walmart, <laughs> a super Walmart in this way across town. I decided to come to this one because honestly, it's bigger, it's cleaner. Um, it's just a better Walmart than the one on where I live. Now, nothing wrong with the one on my side of town. It's not in a bad area, anything like that. Um, it's just sometimes you can find other stuff in other Walmarts. And that's why I'm over here. So today's video is a... I feel like I'm rambling. Today's video is about me doing my prepper pantry. And just realizing... Yesterday I did a um, haul. It was a small haul. I recorded. And I, in that video I was talking about you know, not taking your foot off of the pedal, um, not being too comfortable. So that's basically the same thing for every video that I'm doing that is a grocery haul or me gardening or me canning or anything. You cannot take your foot off of the gas pedal. Do not become complacent um, just because there is a vaccine out there, everyone has not gotten a vaccine. Everyone may not get the vaccine, um, or want the vaccine for that matter. So that being said, if you plan to do your gardening, go ahead and start that now. If you plan to, um, start a prepper pantry, go ahead and start. Um, you don't, you don't have to start with a lot of money. You can do this on a budget. I am not working right now, so it is being done on a budget and it's being done in small increments. I can't go out all the time and, and splurge and get a bunch of stuff like I would love to do. Um, but when I do, I do. Like we did that huge meat haul and y'all, I'm still good on meats. Every now and then I'll buy a few things that, you know, of meat, but I don't have to buy it in bulk because I did it that one time. And so why I'm here now is to put stuff in my prepper pantry, but not necessarily the working pantry. Um, majority of my stuff I'm gonna get today, I'm trying to actually have it in the prepper room that is away from the prepper pantry in the kitchen. So I have a room upstairs that I'm doing that in. And I still have to get my shelving. Like I said, everything is in time. So for now, I'm just going to get what I can get and put it in there and pray that the kids, my husband, and sometimes myself, when I'm too lazy to go downstairs and get a bottle of water, I'll go in there because I already know they done bust one open and just grab one. Um, so we got to get better about that. Maybe I need to put a lock on the door. I don't know. So y'all, I'm not going to keep you long here. I just want to say there is a lot of things going on out here um, with everything that happened yesterday in, and today is Thursday the 7th. Happy birthday to my sister. And a lot of stuff happened on the 6th. People lost their lives on the 6th. People felt like they could, um, that they had a right to go in and take what they consider is theirs um we are guests we well we aren't guests but there are people who believe they have a right 
to everything. And it doesn't matter who gets hurt. It doesn't matter how they get it. They just know they want it. And so y'all have to be safe out here. Be careful. Um, it's just a lot going on. And one way to know that you have what you need is to prep for things. This is not prepping for doomsday. This is prepping. This is preparing yourself, your family to, to be better off if something were to take place. If there were protests or anything like that, that blocked the highway and this, the trucks because my husband drives trucks and the trucks can't get through to the stores to deliver the food and the food is running low on the shelves. You want to make sure your family is okay and you don't have to go out there and fight with people over a loaf of bread or some bologna or anything like that. So you want to make sure um, your family, even if it's not a lot of stuff and you don't have to get a lot of stuff just to prepare for your family. Each person does what they want to do for their household. For every person in your household, you should have a certain amount of items, period. If, if that's something that y'all eat, then you should have that anyway. So this shouldn't be anything that's out of the norm for you to do. So if you're thinking about doing it, I encourage you to do it. If you have questions, feel free to comment down below. If you want to comment about the things I was talking about, leave me some comments down there and we can discuss it. Um, I'm not going to get deep into any kind of political stuff here, but that was on my mind because I had to say a prayer for those families who, who you know, went to work and didn't come back home or decided they were going to follow a certain group and do what that per what that group was doing and then they got injured or killed and they weren't able to go back home to their families everybody makes decisions in life and they're not always the right decisions um nobody is perfect nobody is god so y'all be safe out here and i'm about to um throw this hair in a ponytail and put my mask on and hit the store and I will see y'all with the haul in about one second. Love y'all. You were my best friend. Didn't care about the rules, good on the weekends. I'll be in fools, drifting in the deep space. So brave and so stupid, just like the movies. I was gonna stay in the fight with you. Just thinking we would do this until we couldn't do it. Each and every high, every night with you. You and me so clueless. We were just broken, shattered, singing along to nothing matters. Straight around like
You doing two hoes? No, it's not one hoe. Well, I only did one shopping trip. That's what this stuff is. Hey, do you do I have to go back trip? and do the other one. Y'all make two hauls. One haul, two hauls. But Show usually I will divide my hauls up if I went to different places. I will push it out there. We got, we got little shelves. I'm gonna get some shelves. Until I get some shelves, then it's just gonna be in the room stocking up until I get my shelves. And I'm gonna get them. They're safe to come up and get some. Now it's time to get them because they're on sale. I'm gonna hit the elliptical for 15 minutes, then I'm gonna go down here and do the leg workout. We got jump squat. Because I also have to go to, um, I'll probably take y'all with me because I have little sounds and I need to get. If you ever feel alone, because yeah, sometimes we'll feel alone. In a second, I'll be right there. Turn around, let it rain, turn around and let it rain on me. Don't you be afraid 